Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mint, and we're on episode 5, believe it or not, of um, season 2 of this Let's Play. Um, we just finished our first trade, and we went from 26k to 43k after paying everyone, getting fuel. Uh, now the orbital stations are nice. They have um, capital ship weapons components, which industrial planets where we came from in the original sector they buy up very profitable um, so we are going to purchase that let me go to this other orbital that I know also has those in stock so the, our 40 some K we only have 15 K left so we're gonna leave a couple K left over for bribes to get back safely and sell it and hopefully after another run or two we'll have plenty of money plenty of credits um, to be able to load our ship up completely all right we're at this orbital station we're going to buy cargo and here they are so if if I get six, that will leave us 3k left over. There we go. We'll refuel. Five dollars, green star, right? Everyone's paid, healthy, happy. And we are going to use our galactic map to set a waypoint. Back to home base. So while that's going on, let's take a look at some resources we have. I know I mentioned that, you know, on Explorer there's some great talents for on level 8, and you may be playing the game. Whoops, I don't want that. You may be playing the game. Oh, this is cancel. Sorry about that. Um, and I normally keep the wiki up. The wiki's uh, link is in the description below, but once you get here, you can really look up just about everything there is about the game. A lot of really hardworking developers and supporters are contributing to the wiki on everything from crew management to um, ship combat and all the basics there. But you can also come into a specific job. For example, our Explorer. And when we go to the Explorer page, it will show you the upgrade path. So as we go up in rank, it tells you what uh, your skill levels and how they will go up, depending on what rank you are in that job. And then here are all the talents. So the one we picked up was reduced exposure, removing a risk card while exploring. Uh, when we get up to level eight, we can uh, pick up some additional talents like dredge artifacts, which allows you to get uh, Xeno artifacts off of a Xeno ship after you destroy it. Um, there is also replacing a risk card when you're exploring with a reward card. So a guaranteed going from bad to a good card. Um, and that's a level eight talent as well. So that's one I definitely want to get. And there's one here uh, at level 11 that when you're exploring a wild zone for a mission, you can replace a risk card with a mission success card. So the mission success card will pop up on every turn. You could then add a second mission success card to, to um, the hand and replace uh, a risk card. So these are all great talents. And as you're playing through the game and deciding how you want to upgrade and which jobs you want, popping up to the wiki is great. And you can use it to help you make better decisions as you play. And of course, the longer you play, the more you keep in your memory. But um, even now, I've been playing the game over a year uh, and I still come to this wiki to make decisions, particularly on maybe jobs I haven't done before or job mixes I haven't done before to take a look at, you know, the skill levels that I'll be given uh, as I upgrade them. And there also is a Discord that uh, the, 
there's a link below in the comments or not comments but the description as well and right now in the east coast it's past midnight let's just take a look at the discord here so I'm bringing up the Tracy Brothers server both the developers are on here and active so you can ask them a question there are two mods there's me and Brutus and Bookworm is uh, another mod uh, on here and there are almost 70 players online they're asking questions they're getting answers either from the mods the other players they're sharing strategies um, so if you have discord definitely add the server to it so you can pop over and ask a question when you're playing or a question about uh, really anything and uh, I'm normally on there as well late at night so um, if you're playing the game and need some help with strategy or some advice just hunt me down or hunt uh, any of the developers down we'll be happy to help you with that so let's get back to the game though all right we ended up back in this Javat sector we definitely have enough fuel to get back going to jump through here. We are carrying cargo, which can be sold in industrial zones. We failed a couple of doctor's tests. You can see here the impact on uh, the crew health and also the morale. We will fuel up. Whoop. Here is the story arc. Captain, this man insists on speaking to you. He seems desperate. I'd be wary. Many welcomes, Captain. The Void had mercy on me today when I set you down in this starport. Okay, he's a smuggler. What a nice ship you have. Be quick, smuggler. Get to the point. I'm going to get arrested because I have 25 cargo containers and I'm willing to sell them to you real cheap, basically. We can't really avoid this, but you're given a choice. You know, pay the man... Basically, you're getting cheap cargo. It's probably illegal. Um, tell them to keep moving. We don't deal with your kind. Or grab a hold of that man and summon the security officer. And all of those will have ramifications on, on the game. I'm just going to tell them to get lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we told them to get lost. But you guys can decide how you want to play it when you get there. Okay, we're going to spice these guys up. Get them paid. Oop, we don't have money. Until we sell our capital weapon components. And now we have 70,000 credits. Cool. Let's refuel. Let's get the crew paid. Lots of things to upgrade here. And while we're here, what should we buy? We can buy power generators refineries and mining ones that there's a refinery zone in here let's jump down to this other industrial and this other industrial we're gonna buy these weapon components and these power generators Fuel is 13. Is not getting a green star. I'm going to go find this refinery here. There's three refineries in the sector, so, and they all buy power generators. Bribe and go. is two dollars green star we need to repair dr. spice wage and we can sell these power generators off and these weapon components we can sell at the uh, orbital station that's two jumps away anything else we want to do here not really. Let's go back to 
our orbital station. We have uh, 94,000 plus what we have in the cargo hold. And we're going to do a round or two of this trade run. So now we're at the point where if we run into a pirate, we want to uh, fight them instead of surrendering because they will take everything in our cargo hold. We haven't upgraded the ship weapons or armor or anything, so we are sure to take a hit and get some people hurt. But we're going to be upgrading the ship shortly in a number of ways. We just need to get money to do it. Okay, I am going to go to this orbital station this time. The game's pretty smart with the economy. If if I just sold um, cargo to it and I come back right away, um, the demand is not going to be there to buy more of them. They're gonna they're not going to pay very much. So we're going to a different orbital station to sell our weapons components here. We got another 36k. So now we have 130k. We have some upgrading to do. Let's take care of that quickly. Okay, Captain. I'm going to pick uh, makeshift repair when we land in a wild zone. We're going to get the other uh, deserter preventer talent. Oh. It's just jobs, no talents. My bad. Keep upgrading that. Doctor at three. We've been surviving pretty good, so we'll inch the explorer up and we will get a another talent here. When exploring increased rewards. Awesome. Navigator, explore. So we can get a level 5 explorer here. We're going to pick up that remove risk card. Reduced exposure. And at this point we can actually uh, start doing some exploring because we have the two remove risk cards. Get our doctor up there. and pick up an unrivaled patch. This is purging the ship of crippling effects and repairs damage, the damage component. Oh, I still have this uh, Discord up. Let me turn this off. There we go. Ship ops were good. Okay, for Talk in the Hall, this is the Uncovering a Rumor. We have one Relaxing Leave. This is a morale bonus when you go to the Spice Hall. Uh, we have one of each. I'm going to try and get two of each, so we'll pick this one up with a different crew or when this one upgrades next time. Oh, we can upgrade our Swordsman now. We have Balance Blade to start. And Strength of Steel is a self buff. It's a good one. Soldier, burst fire. It works in slots one, or excuse me, two, three, and four. I'm going to get roaring barrels, which works in position one or two. I got into a, into a fight once and had a pistolier and a swordsman and two rifle soldiers, and everyone got killed except for one soldier or two soldiers and. The soldier in the very front had no skills that he could use in position one, so definitely uh, invest a little bit in that to make sure you can fire something regardless of what position you're in. This is a pilot. Swift route is good. This is when we're doing hyper warp jumps. It will reduce our fuel cost. 
there is a navigator skill that's almost the same. Two people know that. It's not bad to pick up a third because of the three week cooldown. So if we're jumping through multiple hyper warp gates in a short period of time, uh, it's, it's good to have three or four of those. And we picked up our two sharp steerings, two evasive maneuvers, two failed pilot tests, Sure landfall, we know two. That reduces the fuel to land. Swift route, there we go. Pick up our second one of that for the hyper warp jumps. Okay, second talk in the hall. And we have two of the relaxing leaves. Fed electronics were good. Storm shielding, we got that already. Learn a new rumor when entering in orbit of a new system. Chance of learning a rumor. Okay, we want another one of these remove risk cards when patrolling. So we now have two, that's good. Be nice to have more, but two is a good start. Oh, what else do we have? Twit Surge, it's a ship battle one. But the other talents we either have or I'm not wild about, so we'll go ahead and get the twit surge. That helps you close the gap between ships so you can board them um, more successfully. And these other skills, oh, here's one patrolling reroll a card. I'm not wild about the rerolls because you can take a level one risk card and turn that into a level five risk card um, but we'll pick that up. That'll give us another option when we're patrolling. And that should be it. Okay, everybody's upgraded. We have no cargo at this point. I'm going to go into the exchange capital ship weapon components and purchase them. Power generators, purchase them. Let's go up to this second orbital and buy what we can. Get away from me, Mr. Indy. Okay, buy cargo, power generators. This one doesn't sell the uh, weapon components. I'm also going to pick up these gas processors. And then finally, let's go over to this orbital. We'll fuel up here, we have cheap fuel, $2 need any repairs. Dr. Spice wages. Awesome. And we are upgrading at a rapid pace. It's at that point of the game where people are leveling up. Um, as we get to level 8, we should have enough talents to actually start doing some exploring. Now it's a race against time to get enough money to upgrade the ship. Alright. Buy cargo. Power generators. And gas processors. And we have a full cargo. We still have 26k left over. An upgrade quickly. One job rank. Let's go ahead and put in a doctor. Soldier talent. Again, this one had burst fire. We have two soldiers, so I'm going to put in this roaring barrels to get a one that works in position one. I'll get a second twit surge. And chance of learning a new rumor when we go into orbit. Cool. That's it. All right, let's hightail it back to square one. Again, um, I'm going to get us back to square one, back to our original sector. If you want to go ahead and skip ahead to the next episode, that would be great. We're just going to go through our Javad sector, 
get back to Les Ecumes Pass sector. And uh, we'll start the next episode by selling off what we have, seeing how much money we have, and uh, we'll upgrade the ship a little bit. So uh, if you're taking off, we'll see you next time. Otherwise, you can follow along and journey back with me through the hyperwarp gates. Stop and get fuel here. A little bit of healing, a little bit of spice. Awesome. uneventful. Nothing's been happening in the event log of, uh, you know, we just had that one doctor test fail. Okay, we're going to go to this ref uh, refinery landing zone. Here we are. All right, that will do it till next time. We're going to pick it up right here. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.